want to welcome everybody back here to the interactive build of our Tesla turbine design. First of all, I'll be giving it quite a few days here to kind of see what the consensus is throughout the boat. According to your guys' opinion, by putting the new hole 180 degrees out from the old hole and on the other side, you believe that we're going to get the highest output from this Tesla turbine that we can get. And so I'm ready to go here. I've made a mark at the exact same distance off the edge of the primary section of the case as we are for the input hole on this side. And I've got that all set up to go. We're going to set that down here, get the drill out and drill a hole in that. And then we'll see just how much power we can get out of the Tesla turbine now that we've put two input holes into the turbine itself. So here we go. Alright, now I want to crack the case open here because I don't want to drill through into the turbine. I just wanted to use that because it's a little easier. And you can now see basically a straight line effect that the air is going to take at high pressure into your turbine. You've probably seen this original Tesla turbine in action multiple times throughout the years. Originally we only had this single input right here on the other side of the case and that's all I've ever used to actually power this turbine year after year after year to produce power. Now that I've got a bigger tromp hammer, I've asked the audience's advice where they think the new input should be to give this turbine the most potential to produce the highest outputs that it can produce. And after giving you guys a few options of where I think the best locations would be to put the secondary input, this is what the audience decided was that we're going to put the other input right here at this location, which is 180 degrees out from the original location. And instead of being back here at the back side of the case, they want it all the way over here on the front side of the case. And let me give you a quick shot of that so you can see the input angles and the input directions. All right, guys, we're going to fire up this Tesla turbine today, give it a good spin. Sadly, I cannot find the extra generator head I have. I've looked all day, all day yesterday for it. So today, all we're going to be able to do is fire this thing up in a full free spin. And I promise you guys, once I find the generator, we'll do a video with this running a generator with a single line. Then we'll hook up the secondary line and I can actually show you the output differences. Let's go ahead now and fire this thing up and see just what it sounds like and how well it spins. All right guys, here we go. We've got the Tesla turbine set up. Let me zoom just a little bit in for you here. Give you a good look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the airline, turn on the valve, and just let the thing spin all the way up to full revolution for you. Here we go. And off we go. This is from a 15 gallon tank and at this very moment we're at 115 psi here we go 